There are many cliches that come to mind at the start of a new season. A fresh start, the promise of something new, something big, and in the case of the 2017-2018 Rutgers Scarlet Knights, all of them are true. While they did see two of their own picked in the 2016 WNBA draft the previous year, they also had one of their rising stars sidelined by health concerns, add a lack of depth, and the result was a long and trying season. But one of the greatest things a young team can have is a seasoned coach who can see the big picture of the program and the challenges and lessons they offer. And for Coach Stringer's current roster, the non-conference schedule could not come fast enough this year. With veteran leadership, the Knights charged by James Madison, Temple, and Wake Forest, they developed as a unit and enjoyed each other's success. Coach Stringer has really been able to utilize everyone on her roster. She plays a lot of players. Absolutely. She's done a great job of balancing that, keeping all the players happy. Everybody's getting time. Everybody has an opportunity. This is definitely a type of team that you want to play on as a player if you're a competitor. Everybody's getting minutes. Oh, a tip from the Rutgers Athletic Center. Scape launches a long three, top of the key, and she hits it. And Rutgers takes the lead. Rutgers held their ACC rival to just 43 points as they defeated Virginia, putting to use the lessons of last year while looking ahead to this year. Last year was very, was like a learning period for everyone who played. We went from like having everyone older than us leave abruptly and then we had sophomores who really didn't play as much had to step up. So that was a big learning period. And um, and then this year, it's like we, we learned a lot from last year. So this year, um, we're much more advanced. I think the biggest improvement is that we play hard every possession, um, every game. We don't take plays off or play down to the level of our competition. The biggest difference from last year and this year is definitely just the team chemistry. It's everybody is on the same page. Everybody has the same goal in mind. We really are a true family and we really are true friends, like on and off the court. On the court and off the court, it's just fun being around everyone. Yeah, we're definitely a big family. Um, we can kind of tell just by watching the bench uh, how great we interact with each other. Um, you know, want everyone to do good when they score, uh, get blocks or whatever. So it's definitely a big family. Rutgers winning streak that speaks to good chemistry. There's nothing like the chemistry of a C. Vivian Stringer team. You don't need to tell the squad to look for the open player when they're looking out for each other. Rutgers has the best defense in the Big Ten and a lot of different metrics, including points allowed per game. One of the best defenses in the country. And not because of a single star, but a team attitude. Harris, Carey, Rollins, Jenkins, Cryer, and Green were being heard in the rack just as much as Scape as the team emerged into the national spotlight. Rutgers women's basketball. Big Ten Conference play has arrived for RU as they open up league play taking on the Purdue Boilermakers. Finishing out at 12 and two, they close out their current eight game homestand hosting Purdue. And for RU, they look to sweep this homestand to try to make it eight consecutive wins before they hit the road. It was all smiles in the rack as the Scarlet Knights kicked off the Big Ten season. Purdue proved the first test and Rutgers passed. The two teams battled boldly, but RU's constant pressure and effort was too much for the Boilermakers. Rutgers has a very deep bench. Their bench is averaging over 33 points per game. Well, Tyler Scape has just been magnificent on the defensive end after missing last season with the heart issue. She is back and clicking on all cylinders, averaging 21 points a game. The victory over Purdue took their home win streak to nine as the Scarlet Knights soaked in the warmth from the fans at the rack, which they would need as they hit the cold road on their first Big Ten road trip of the season. Both Michigan State and Rutgers were on the verge of a top 25 national ranking, and a W would cement the spot for the victor. It was a close game, and while they did not trade single baskets, they did trade runs, with each team briefly pulling ahead by margins of five, seven, and eight. 
While the Scarlet Knights started the fourth quarter with a 7-0 run, the Spartans dug in and slowed the Rutgers attack and built another lead of their own. And with 1.41 to go, Rutgers found themselves trailing Michigan State 58-55. This game was the type of game young players dream about. And for one who was on her way to her 11th 20-plus point performance of the season, Tyler Scape drove and put Rutgers back on top with the 13th lead change of the ball game. Big free throws by Scape and fellow senior Carey silenced the Spartans as the Knights celebrated the new year. I know that not everybody in the country notices yet what Rutgers is doing, but I can tell you that I know for sure that all of Rutgers Nation right now is saying this is for real. This is for real. Mm -hmm. For real? Yeah. 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 basketball team off to a 15-2 start. They've won 10 in a row, and they're off to their best start ever in the Big Ten. 29 points for Tyler Scape as she closes in on 2,000. 993 wins for Coach Stringer, a number 19 national ranking for the Scarlet Knights. A lot to look forward to in 2018.